folks, it's Carrie from Pretty Neat. Thanks for joining me today. So I have a really fun project to share with you. Um, and I got the idea for this from my friend Joanne over at Joanne Plans. I will put a link to her channel and to her video on this topic um, in the description box below. But what Joanne did, I was so inspired, she purchased this set of all matching glass spice containers and decanted all of her spices into them. And the result was just so visually pleasing to have everything all uniform in the cabinet. And I was like, yeah, I need to do that. So this is a project that I would put in the category of kind of next level organizing. It's really not essential that you do this with your spices. Okay, your spices do not all have to be in the same type of container. Um, but I will say that there is some value in reducing visual clutter in your home and in specific, specific spaces. And the place where we store like spices and seasonings can often get really cluttered and crazy. And um, I think just going through and purging that space is important because we often buy spices just for one specific recipe and then we never use them again. And um, oftentimes when I work with clients in their homes, I find that um, they have a lot of expired things in their spice cabinet. So um, this was really a fun project for me to do. Uh, it forced me to look at the stuff that I have and to maybe do some thinking about uh, how likely I am to reuse these different seasonings. And um, it was an opportunity to get to purge a few things, but uh, ultimately it was really about aesthetics. It was really about making the cabinet where I store all my spices and seasonings uh, just look really great. And it's very visually pleasing. It also is much more functional and I take uh, the setup and I really change it up quite a bit. And it, it's just working out really great for me. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So without further ado, here is how I organized my spice cabinet. So I'm going to be redoing my spice cabinet, which is here next to the stove, and I'll open it up so you can see the before. And it's not bad. Um, I do try to keep this fairly pared down and organized, but there is quite a bit, I would say, visual clutter from all the different brands and all the different size jars and everything. The other thing that doesn't work great is... Um, I have this little shelf riser in the back, which I'll move a few things so you can see. And this is helpful uh, in terms of increasing the amount of space that I have, but it's not that easily accessible because I have to move some things out of the way. So um, yeah, that's the before of this cabinet. And then um, I'm going to show you the after once I get this all set up. So here is the set of jars that I purchased. Now, I got these off of Amazon, and I'll put the link below. This came with these glass jars. They're a pretty standard size, similar to the size spice jars that you'll find when you purchase things in the grocery store. And the full set came with 36, which is a ton. I've only washed 15 because I think that's all I'm going to need. And then each jar also comes with a top, which is just a silver metal top. And they also come with the uh, little sifter and pourer top to fit on these as well. And then in addition, you get labels. And this is kind of cool. The labels are, there are two styles actually. There are these um, black and white ones, which are kind of like chalkboard style. Um, they will fit on top of the lid or you could alternatively um, add the label to the front of the jar. And then they also come with a second set which are actually clear and they're much smaller. And so I haven't quite figured out if um, which set I'm going to use or which placement but I'm gonna figure that out. And then the really the interesting thing about these labels is this set is so complete. I mean, 
there are labels here for things that I don't even know what they are. And it's this huge set. So really anything that you could possibly think of. And the other cool thing is that it comes with this black set, at least comes with blank labels and a chalk pen. So if by some chance you do have an ingredient that isn't captured here in this set, you can label your own. And um, the set also comes with this small expandable funnel, which you can use uh, to fill the jars. Although in Joanne's video, she found that it was just as easy to fill them by hand without using this. So I'm gonna try it and see what works for me. All right, I'm gonna get started. So here's a quick update on where I am in the process here. I've decanted all of my spices into the jars. They look great. I love how uniform they are. And as I was doing this, I just um, kept the original bottle and put the, the new one in front of it so I would remember what was in each jar before I labeled them. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and use these um, white on black labels. I just, um, I like the clean look and I think I'm going to put them on the top of the jars so that the front will just be really clean. And, um, a couple other things that I've done, um, with this cabinet. Uh, one thing was I had a few packets of, um, spice mix from HelloFresh. If you subscribe to any of these meal services, um, you might have some extra, spice packets. I found that I do use this when I remake the recipes, but I, I usually don't use the full package. So I had a couple of them. So I was able to just, um, you know, make a jar for that. I also decided to, um, I've been making Delgona coffee because, you know, it's quarantine and that's what we're all doing. And I'm really big on reusing things and kind of recycling when I can. And um, this is a jar that I buy almond butter in. And since I buy it somewhat regularly, I just clean these jars out and I take the labels off. And then I use them for food storage. And so I had a couple kicking around. So I decided to decant the instant coffee that I've been using for Delgona into here. And I have one for sugar as well. So those look a little more uniform with the other glass jars. And the other thing that I decided to do, I don't have a lot of teas, but I had a couple things of tea in my cabinet. And again, I'm just trying to get um, the most uniform look I can. So what I did is I took all the, the tea packets out of here. And again, in terms of recycling, I had an old iPhone box. These are really great sturdy boxes, really anything that electronics come in. And this is kind of the perfect size for tea bags. So um, if you've gotten a new phone and you have the box and you're looking for a little tea caddy, this is perfect. So I'm gonna use this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and label my jars and set up the cabinet. And I'll show you the after in just a minute. So are you ready to see the after? I'm really excited about how this came out. So here is the new cabinet. I did a little rearranging up top and you can see I have all the spices decanted and I have this Lazy Susan in my pantry and it wasn't really being used well and it just fits perfectly here in 
my cabinet. And now I can't, I, I decided to put the labels on the top of the jars, which are not visible here, but I set these up so that I can just easily um, tilt them a little bit and see what's here. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, the ones in the middle are a little harder to access, but I put my least used items in there. So if I do have to pull a couple down to get them out, that's not that big a deal. And then I had space on the side here for my salt and pepper. I love these um, salt and pepper mills. I can link to these down below as well. I have a few things in the back there, um, just overflow items. And then you can see I got my tea in my little iPhone box here and my sugar and instant coffee for morning Delgona. And this is just something I use as like a spoon rest when I'm cooking. And yeah, I just feel like it's such a cleaner look and I love having the spices um, in these in all the same containers. It's just so pleasing to me. This is definitely a next level organizing. You don't need to do this by any means, but it's just a very satisfying project. So didn't that come out great? I can't tell you how happy I am every time I open that cabinet now. It just feels so clean and organized. I know where everything is. It's easy to get to. Using the Lazy Susan has really been working great for me. I, I did this project a few days ago and I've been able to use it. It works great for spices because it's a lot of very small containers and it's just a pain to have to kind of go in there and move stuff around to try to get to the things behind. The Lazy Susan allows you to access everything really easily. I'm going to link to Joanne's video where she used the same products and she set things up a little bit differently and did her labeling differently. So you'll get to see that. Um, I'll also link to the spice containers that I purchased on Amazon so you can um, get those. And I will try to find a Lazy Susan similar to the one that I have in my cabinet. So if you like that solution, you can maybe grab one of those for yourself. So if you like this video, I hope you'll hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be sharing lots more content here about organizing your home and just making it look beautiful and making it more functional. And I hope you'll join me in the future. Talk to you soon.